I do a Halloween party every year, and the theme this year is the 1980s, so we wanted to put a Cold War Russian missile in the backyard with flames shooting out of it to make the partygoers think that it could explode at any moment. And so what better way than to use chili pepper connected to a stepper motor to control a propane valve to create the effect. Up on the y-axis, it increases the propane. <laughs> and we will run it again. But this time... And we have perfect stepping, all from uh, running chili pepper to control a propane valve. Okay, now let's uh, run through that one more time with a full video here. We've got the flame going with chili pepper on my laptop in the backyard, and that's the controller over there on the propane valve. And we're going to go ahead and hit play from tiny G, or from the chili pepper. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm using Tiny G to uh, to do this. And what it's doing is it's going and following a path, <clears throat> and the flame is increasing. So we'll go ahead and hit. So we'll, we'll start that again, and we'll watch both. Now, the valve is actually being controlled from the Tiny G in the house, and I ran a four conductor cable, the speaker cable, all the way out so that this can be controlled remotely from in the house uh, without any electronics being outside. Cool. Okay, now we'll get a little closer and show you what the... Uh, This little guy's done. Now there's definitely some wobbling, <clears throat> but that was built in on purpose. Pretty good for a Nemo 17 motor. Okay, I'm inside FreeCAD where I um, designed the little holder for the propane um, regulator and what you've got is a stepper motor right here that attaches it's got its shaft and so you've got to make sure it can attach to the valve handle and the valve handle sort of sits in there it's a little handle for your hands to turn but we're gonna have a stepper motor turn it instead this is the pipe uh, that carries the propane and so I had to create some brackets. Uh, I got everything measured out, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it for um, to camshaft or to, sorry to cambam, so that I can uh, make the parts. And okay, I finished the uh, profile operations. You can see I've got all these holes uh, for drills, and I've got all of my operations. And what I'm going to do then is um, produce the G code. And that will create um, that will create a nice little G code file, and then you go and you pick up your G code file and you drag it into Chili Pepper, and here we are. We've got all of our operations. So, so now I'm uh, <clears throat> starting the milling process. And I just laid down some acrylic sheet. Uh, it's got that paper sticker on top of it. Uh, and it's milling out that first piece, uh, which is the piece of acrylic that will go on to the handle that you would otherwise be using with your fingers to control the valve. Uh, 
uh, and we'll uh, we'll show you some other pieces here. The uh, the piece is just about done being milled out. You can see that it's going to be uh, a circular piece that is, will get crazy glued to the acrylic sheets above it to make the connection work. And now this piece is the. Uh, the piece of acrylic that goes above the, uh, the little handle holder, this has a tiny little hole with a notch, so it fits onto the shaft <laughs> of the NEMA 17 stepper motor. That shaft does have a slot cut in the metal, so it's got grip. And this is a finished piece. Uh, it goes right onto the slot of the stepper motor. You can kind of see it there. And then just about done milling, um, <clears throat> as it turns the corner here of uh, this piece that goes on the NEMA 17. Okay, I'm going to show you a, more of a close-up view of the valve controller. I do have a tiny GV9 right there uh, controlling it, and I'm connected to it. And we'll do a test run uh, inside uh, Chili Pepper. So, we'll see how... It's rotating that valve, and those are all those acrylic pieces I milled out earlier. You see the tiny G blinking away over there. <clears throat> One thing I did notice is that these consumer valves are not really well aligned and so that's partly why I had to take into account the lack of alignment uh, on the device uh, on the on this sort of acrylic rig the question is will it hold up for six hours of continuous uh, motion so hopefully uh, hopefully it goes well and thanks for watching the build of this propane valve controller combining uh, chili pepper, the tiny G, uh, some custom code, and a uh, propane valve.